get started. Yeah. yeah. Imagine being in a corporation. I think this is so cringe. Imagine being in a corporation and then bringing Life this coaches. to you or like, or like Jay Shetty to you. Ugh. Oh and my, and I'm like, hey, can I get a vacation day? Absolutely not. We just don't have the budget. Oh, but we have Jay Shetty. It's like, I, no, we I don't, don't have the budget that. for your vacation, but we do have like 12 million to pay like, a, like Mel a Robbins. Scammer. Yeah, to come in and, for one hour. And Grant Cardone and like all of these. Yeah. I'm That's, talking about Jay Shetty. Should we show just what a good husband he is? Oh, yeah. Let's see that. This Let's is what Kim sent feel, me this I morning. I feel like we should. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're running late and it's getting to that point of the night where I'm like, woo! <laughs> no! Yeah, so Jay Shetty, as you guys know, he is better than anyone, except in a few ways. Turns yeah. out... Here, here's turns the... out his wife has come out with a reel to call him out... On, on his, his own, crap. on his own Instagram, Incom- though. What was it called? It was called like uh, weaponized incompetence. Yes. Okay. Wait. I want you to see who's commented on this on this Instagram. This is <laughs> genius, Jay Shetty. Okay. The two people the that have commented: Doctor Amen, the brain doctor, <laughs> and the meal prep king. <laughs> Amazing, the meal prep king. He took, he took a break from his social media break to come and comment on Jay Shetty's thing. Two hours ago, he commented: "Great post, Jay, as he normal." Got Eleven likes. Heart, 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 heart. <laughs> so Amen only three likes. Mm, yeah, he no, Amen just did so praise hands. Uh, yeah. yeah. So just, you know, that gives you good, that gives you a very good idea of, of what's going on. Oh, speaking of, um, Jay Shetty, he, he officiated Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's definitely not fake wedding. Um, and that a lot of people are like, oh, I saw Jay Shetty mentioned in the news. So he officiated their wedding. This is the lady from Emily in Paris. He, yes, Lily get, Collins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He also officiated their wedding as well. So he's now a priest? He, sure. A minister? Sure. He's his, he's a his, life he's coach former monk. minister. <laughs> <laughs> former monk who does weddings now. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, you know. Ugh. Yeah, we need a scruffy cons. Scruffy cons. Scruffy con. Scruffy con Jay. Jay. He, loves, <laughs> he hates women, loves Jay Shetty. That matches. Yeah. Yeah, um, okay, here's the funny one. It's been for a day. Just in case the music's copyrighted. So this is Jay Shetty's wife being Jay Shetty for the day. This is how he acts, apparently. <laughs> yeah, she's always said that he's got a big hair obsession. Like she's really committing to this cream. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that she thinks that he's lazy and self centered based on this video. <laughs> and the other yeah. times I've heard her talk about him. <laughs> to me oh. it seems like she doesn't think very highly of him, really. Not that I disagree with her, but it's funny. She says I would say like, I sorry, go ahead. No, go on, go on. Oh, he's got a new book. I don't... Yeah, what? <laughs> what? His new book, pre-order right now, Eight Rules of Love. What? Lewis House says, yes. Oh my God, I'm buying this. <laughs> this is the problem, Cam. Well, no, I'm buying it to review it. Well, yeah, what? obviously. He's come up with it? Says, I knew that he was going to do it, but I thought he was doing it like at Christmas or something. Oh, well, it's pre-order, so maybe it'll come out at Christmas. Uh, today is his birthday. So two days ago was his birthday, and he's so excited when to is announce. Coming out? Uh, he's okay. When you pre-order today, you'll be the first to get access to my world tour dates when they're announced. Oh, January. I I knew mm. it was like later on. I was like shocked. <laughs> mm. Okay, so January is maybe that's just the UK. Kindle is the Kindle like ready now? I don't know. I no. never know. It always says oh, it is, but then again. It's not, definitely not. 
Okay. He, he better not divorce his wife anytime soon. This is like the commitment they're making to each other for at least five years. Can't You can't I, come I out think, with a book. Well, I guess that didn't... that that. If you take that yeah. Rachel Hollis and Dave Hollis rules, they only lasted six <laughs> months after the marriage conference. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Allegedly. I don't know the and timeline. And come up with a third book. They're like, didn't see the divorce coming. Yeah, didn't... I mean, you've got to have balls of steel to be a young person in a relationship and, and tell me what the rules of love are. Yeah. You are guaranteeing that you are like secure in your relationship. Yeah. It's the thing is, I feel like it takes so little, so little, um, oh God, what's the word? It, it takes so little shit. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. Um, like you don't have to have you don't have to know anything to write a self help book. Yeah. Like you it it you 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 can be just the most average idiot <laughs> and write a self help book. Yes. Like I could write a self like that's how easy it would be. Yeah. I could write one right now. Of course. This I should guy, write my self help book. You should. This I'll guy got kicked out of being a monk and has made it a multi million dollar career. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. The sky's the limit. Seriously. <sighs> like, what is the secret ingredient that we're missing here? Because. Blue eyes. Know, we're also podcasting and, like, we're, I, we're too. We we're, not, we're too negative. We didn't come up with a sub story and we didn't pretend like we have a lot of money it's the ability to be okay with exploiting vulnerable people yes that honestly is true. okay here's another theory that it's like i've been toying with in my head and talking about a lot lately it, off camera but you know in school and i sort of sort of started talking about it today but you know in school and all that they say like oh work hard and you know you'll accomplish in good manners and and let people have their moments and you know don't don't take up too much of, I don't know, like work together in groups and be polite and all these things that we were taught like as young people. It, do you think in any way that maybe not on purpose, like the, the purpose is good, but in reality, it just makes it so that the people who defy that in a lot of ways succeed and everyone else is afraid like socially to like, it, like I feel like being greedy makes you mm. successful yeah. being um like ruthless and not caring about people and pushing people down and being able to fire people and pay them a little wage like helps you at least in in business not really having to care about like where your information comes from not really fact checking or giving a shit if it's not accurate or affects anyone like not having em like that care to do well like except for yourself like i think all of those things that we were taught are actually holding me back from succeeding at mm -hmm. business. Mm 